Hey everybody. How y'all doing? Hey, Nita. Hey, Latanya. I'm catching names as quick as they come. So, what's up, my sweet peeps? Latanya. What's going on? I'm going to be doing a few of these live reviews with you all. Um... First, let's say what's going on, sweet gang, sweet peeps. It's your girl, Ro, in the cut, coming to you with a live review. Okay? Um, trying to answer a lot of common questions that have been ex Hey, Amanda. How you doing, girl? Um... Hello, hello, hello. Um, <clears throat> my sweet peeps, it's good to see my sweet peeps, my followers. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, y'all. Trust me, you will not be disappointed. And uh, leave a comment in the comment section as well after this live. Okay. All right, New York, I see you. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to be doing a few of these live reviews with you all because I'm getting a lot of comment, um, comments um, regarding after they do the recipe. Now, I do this recipe with you all. Um, I done did the full recipe. I done did the small recipe um many a times in my videos and i'm very detailed so that you guys all know right so hey janet hey peggy hey serena i think that's what just popped up but um so that you all know that i give out a lot of very informative information um, I know it's a lot of beginners and I know um, you are anxious to, you know, getting into the sweet get, sweet community and getting to do these apples. OK, um, it's one question I seen someone ask, do I do other stuff more than apples? Yes, I do. I, I, I do. But in business, you do what, what the market is called for, right? You do what everybody wants to see. So apples it is. <laughs> but no, I do give do more. Um, but for the apples, a lot of people saying when I do the recipe, my apples always come out sticky. Okay, let me tell y'all. If y'all seen my video, um, Apple Talk, I talk a lot about in that video of some things that um, may acquire or, or some of the questions that were asked, I answered some of those questions. Doing in this Apple game, you really have to have patience. I always tell my students and everyone I come encounter with that are starting off, you have to follow the five Ps. I added a, it was four Ps, I added a fifth P. You know, you got to pray before you do anything, okay? You have to trust the process. You definitely have to be patient. And while you have that patience, you have to uh, 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 be persistent, but keep practicing. That's the five Ps. Prayer, process, patience, persistent, and practice. You have to keep all of that in mind when doing anything. Um, because this is these apples are not a rust 
thing because you're dealing with um, hot, hot sugar, water, and syrup that you can burn yourself. So when you do do this, and I had a question that came in my inbox. Ms. Rowe, do you prefer a hot plate or a stove? And the answer to that is it really doesn't matter. I use my hot plate because I have a small studio that I have all my stuff in and I can go from one spot to the next spot. Okay. I, I don't do um, any prep work. You may have seen me do it in my, in my formal kitchen, but I just don't do it. Um, so I use my hot plate because I'm in my studio area. All right. So it really doesn't matter if you use a hot plate or a stove. When you use a stove, um, when you're doing your candy mixture, just make sure you have a solid hard bottom stainless steel or just a thick pot, a good pot, five or six quart pot when doing your candy mixture and that you cook it on medium high heat. Okay, medium high heat, five or six, in between five or six when you're cooking on a digital stove. So it really doesn't matter. Okay, these apples, I believe, is three days old now. Okay, and I did this process so you guys can see. Right after dipping, I let them sit out unbagged unbox all right that means they didn't go in the refrigerator i didn't bag them i didn't put them in a box so they were stored on my studio table over in the corner unbox okay unbox and as you see this ain't all the way as you see here let's do it this way Okay. There's no breaking. There's no breakdown. Um, besides that, it is sticky. Okay, it is sticky. All right. I'm. We're going into the summer months here. Okay, and I'm gonna talk about after you get done dipping your apples, how to you know do that procedure. So, uh, after you get through dipping your apples, of course. All right. So, but there's no breakdown. I get a lot of comments, Ms. Rowe, after I get done and I let them sit for 24 hours, they start breaking down. They start melting. Either that, either that cleaning process, something you did with that cleaning process, you got to check all the factors. And number one factor is that cleaning process must be done. That 48 hour wait, and wiping them down completely before you dip is it. And if they're breaking down too quickly and getting sticky too quick, getting sticky right away, it's because it's humid in your house. It's humid. Cannot get done dipping them and leave them by the stove or leaving them, leaving them in the hot kitchen because they will get sticky. All right. So my apples are sticky because I didn't bag them right away i didn't after you dip them you want to let them cool let the apple cool because after you take them out the hot mixture the ha the apple are still warm let them cool for about five or ten minutes you're going to take a bag and then bag them after dipping them for five or ten minutes leave the bag open okay Leave the bag open for about 10 or 15 minutes and then tie them up and decorate them how you want, want to and put them in the refrigerator. That's how you bag them after dipping. That's the process I follow. So whereas your apples won't get sticky because if you let them sit out too long and it's still humid or they are going to get sticky, they ain't going to be able to go in the bag. All right. So this is three days of them sitting out. All right. No breakdown. Far as 
right here is starting to break down here. But as you see, they're not melting away. All right. But this is unboxed. Let me go to the next one. This one. Okay. It's starting to break down here. But they're not melting off the apple or anything like that. All right. This is the 411 recipe. My 411 recipe that I have given you all. But I get a lot of people saying my apples break down the next day. This is unbagged, unboxed. All right. And the only breakdown in this particular apple is just up here. But with the proper storage, you won't have that problem. Okay. And here's the fourth one. These are all the apples I dipped three days ago. Besides, I got this bubble back here. Let me show y'all this. That was a bubble I got back there. And that was probably because it had a nick in the apple. All right. So let's, let's talk about that. But as you see, they're, they're not melting away or anything like that. All right. Besides this hole in the back. And that was probably because it was a cut or a nick in the apple. If you got any nicks, any nicks in your apple, like this one here, if you got a nick or a cut in the apple, don't dip it. You're going to get a hole. You're going to get a bubble. So when you're dipping your apples and before you dip your apples, before you even clean them, you got to inspect your apples. Okay. Understand everyone. This is a process. This is a process. If you for real about dipping and you want your apples to be perfected and you want your customers to get the best quality of apples that you can, um, that they can, and that you want to present to them, you got to go through the process. That means you got to expect your apples before you get them, even when you get a case, you got to look at your apples and making sure that you just ain't pulling them out and you just ain't dipping them. So you can't just get apples and then expect to clean them and then dip them. You got to inspect them apples because if they sitting out, people go through, they pick them up, they drop them. And even if they got um, like soft areas are not good. Okay. So you have to inspect your apples before you even clean them. And after you clean them, put them in a place where they're not going to fall on the ground or watch your fingernails that you don't um, uh, pinch the or pull the skin from the apple when you're taking off the sticker that be on the, the apples. All right. Another thing, uh, Granny Smith apples is the only apples that I use and I prefer to use. I have used other apples like Gala apples. Red Delicious apples do not work for me. And if anybody dipping with them, um, they, they give bubbles. I have had that experience. And that's just from my experience. Um, and I only dip with Granny Smith apples. All right. So, and as I stated, this is three days, three or, I'm on three or four days that I've done dip these. No breakdown. Because I get comments, Ms. Raw, I did your recipe. I followed it to the T and my apples broke down the next day. As y'all see, I dipped these, what, three or four days ago? Three, three days ago, maybe. And as y'all see for yourself, right here, live on TV, on YouTube, on YouTube. As you see, okay? So we gonna cut into this apple, all right? Break it on down. Pure freshness, all right? 
So I hope you guys are enjoying these review videos because I am getting a lot of people requesting that. I got another review. Someone asked, could I do a could I do an apple? Could I do a review on dipping apples that have properly been cleaned and that have not been cleaned? So I, that that will be coming up next. <laughs> and the candy stayed intact. Didn't break off. <laughs> yep. Okay. So, because this hole was back here, let's see why. I'm going to just break this up and see why. Oh, that's why a hole was back there. It's a nick in the apple. You see it right there? That's why the bubble came up. So that was something I missed. Okay? I ain't perfect by far. I missed some things. You know what I'm saying? But... These are some reasons that you get holes or you get breakdown. Okay, and it's good. The candy apple did, I mean, the candy didn't fall all off the apple. It's still fresh. All right. I can put it back together. <laughs> I'm going to cut all of them up for you. So you can see. It's a little brown in that one. That was soft. But it's still edible. Okay. Let's do this one. Fresh. Okay. And I'm going to cut this last one. Fresh. Still a few days old. All right. Now, this is the candy apple. The last review I did was of a chocolate apple. That was in the refrigerator for four weeks. This is just a few days old. These apples do last a long time. So I am going to do a four week. Um, the next apple I do, I'm going to keep it for a month. We're going to come back, do another review and show you the results of that as well. Okay. Now, I ain't going to say all the candy going to always stay on, on some of your apples, but, I mean, you see here, if it's properly dipped, properly stored, well, this one wasn't properly stored because I left it out for days and all night. It wasn't bagged. It wasn't boxed. And it wasn't put in the refrigerator. But you see, okay, now... It's another thing. If you clean your apples, the longest that I prefer after you have cleaned your apples is that they be out no longer than a week and some days. If they out longer than that, your 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 clean apples 
start breaking down. Okay? The skin starts to tear away. You cannot leave out clean apples for two weeks and expect to dip them. That's not going to work. Okay? And let me show you why. Here's the result of it. All right? This stuff right here, that's mold. Okay? And this this these apples been out for two weeks. Okay. Just two weeks. I don't know what that was on the inside of that, but you know, no longer than that. All right. So that's why I always say no longer than a week. All right. So, yes, it still looks fresh, but I wouldn't eat it because it's been, it got mold at the top. All right. So your clean apples will last a week and some days. I don't do no, no longer than that. All right. So I hope you all enjoyed this wonderful review and if you have any questions i'll take a few questions um before i go any questions before i go All right. Well, if it ain't no questions, you know I will follow up um, with. Oh, there we go. When you have a large order, how do you transport the apples? If I have a large order, how do I transport the apples? And I'm I'm guessing that you're pertaining to transporting them while it's hot. Um, I transport in a box or a cooler. Having a, um, I usually have like an ice pack and I put it in the box, but it's up to you. If you want to deliver, you know what your wrist is, but that's how I deliver using an ice pack in a box, not touching it. Don't put a bunch of ice packs in a box, but, um, it's okay. You let your customer know, give them a disclosure, letting them know like, okay, um, delivery you want to charge for delivery oh, very much so or you can also let them know you know pick up only however you know if it's the summer months like um this around this time for this month this month this month pick up only but the apples will break down y'all they don't last forever no i do not ship <coughs> i don't ship candy apples not no more. I don't overnight them. It's just too expensive to to charge a person that um, has bought candy apples. Okay, you buying a dozen candy apples and you shipping them. It it never failed. It may have been like one or two that went good, but they break down. Even though you say fragile or whatever, and I'm sure it's people that are still shipping, but I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna be real with you and tell you the honest God truth. They still break down. Some they done got pinholes or something. Um, and if it's a way, let me know. But I do not ship anymore. I just refuse to have my customer customer pay all that money because you charging them. If they want it shipped, they they have to pay for the shipping. So I just refuse, I just it's just you know, your order is, say, okay, for 12 dozen of uh, Tiffany apples, all right, is $125 for 12 dozen. The shipping and packaging alone is going to be um, more expensive than how much the order is. Or if someone is getting some basic apples for $65, but your shipping and packaging is $85, that don't even make sense because... You got to ship it the next day. You want to secure it. So it's just not. 
It just don't seem feasible to me to ship candy apples. But there are people that do ship, so. Okay. If you follow my recipe and you said when it reached the 200 or 210, then it burned, you may want to check your candy thermometer. And as I stated in the beginning of this video, um, make sure your temperature, your stove is on medium high heat. All right. Now on my hot plate, on this February hot plate, I cook it all, I have it all the way up because the temp, because if it's on medium, it don't cook as fast. It's a whole, it's a whole hot plate. So I have to turn it up. So you might have to adjust some things. I added the color beforehand. What did I do wrong? It's okay to add color beforehand. My preference is just to add color at the end. I cook with some different colors. Understand this, y'all. I don't, you know, my preference is to add color at the end because I get um, the color that I, you know, the desired color that I want. But with some of these colors, with some of these brands, you can cook your coloring uh, with your mixture. Um, but you just have to know what you're doing and know how to do it and, um, and what to look for. If you have to add a little bit more color, if your mixture get super thick, you didn't add it too much color, too much color, too, 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 too much color. When am I coming back to ATL? I will be in Atlanta in November. For the ultimate sugar show. The ultimate sugar show is going to be the biggest sweet bakery show in Georgia. The first big sugar show in Georgia will be held at Atlanta, Georgia. If you want um, more information, check out my uh, business page, Your Sweet Connection on Facebook. And go to the web, or you can go to the website, the ultimate sugar show.com is going to be international bakers, treat makers, celebrity panel, all supply vendors from all over will be there. You name it. Business classes. I'm teaching an Apple class um, with design. So this is called the ultimate sugar show. Um, one day pass, I believe it's 15 or $20. Um, if you want a VIP is $97. If you want to go to, if you want to be at the whole conference, um, then it's more than that, but just view the website. You do get discounts. You just have to check it out. Follow the Ultimate Sugar Show. You get a chance to win free tickets as well. So this is a good event, a big event that will be held in Atlanta, Georgia. It's not my event. I'm just a part of the show. Okay. So if you are in the Georgia area or you want to come out and you want to meet me or some of the, these um, well-known artists, pastry artists, bakers, treat makers, Come on out to the Ultimate Sugar Show. You don't want to miss it. It's it's your shopping before Christmas, for real. So, and then you got classes. So, view the Ultimate Sugar Show. I'm teaching there. I will be one of the celebrities on the celebrity panels answering questions for those that have those VIP tickets and attending the conference. So, you don't want to really miss that. Because that's your opportunity. If you're new to the game and you want to and never been to a show, this is the show. If you want to come one day, it's only $15, $15 or $20 just to get that experience. Okay? So anything and everything that you may need will be at this show. All right? 
Okay. Nikki, last question. Nikki asks, what causes pinholes? Ooh, I just went over this. You may want to rewatch this. What causes pinholes is a lot of different things. Pinholes, it can be the type of apple you're using. Um, the cleaning process may not be right. Um, humidity causes pinholes as well. Nicks in the apple will cause pinholes. It's all a process. If you have not took my one-on-one -on -one apple class yet, I would advise you to do so where you will have a more personal level with me. I still offer that. Um, if you truly want to get this together, I do offer that. I do have a mentoring program and I'm also doing a tour, which this will be my last tour this year for now. Um, check out my business page for some of the cities that I will be in. It is a payment plan. So, um, yeah, check it out. Okay, you're welcome. The Apple class is only $20. And the Apple class I teach for seven days. You cannot beat that. If you want to up in personal level, a close with me, I, I teach an Apple class for seven days for $20. And trust me, you will not be disappointed. There's some people that's in here probably right now that took my Apple class, my one-on-one -on -one Apple class. And I and, and and it was for seven days, but um I had it on my website. Um I gotta check and see if it's there because my website do need to be updated. But you can go to my business page. I have not promoted it because um I still have students in that class, and some people have asked to be in there because it is pre-recorded videos in there, but I'm still in there answering questions, helping and um, helping uh, the students or you all achieve your goals on trying to master and perfect this Apple game. All right. So that's my last question, you guys. I really do appreciate y'all. That's my time. Um, I will... Uh, Post the info. I will pin the info if I can pin it in the live video. I will pin the info uh, for my blah, blah, blah. my website is yoursweetconnection.com and it's the same on Facebook, my business page, Your Sweet Connection. All right. You're welcome. So it's your girl, Ro, about to go, but I definitely see y'all in the next video. I did enjoy this moment with you all. Can you see that apple? Go ahead and watch, rewatch the video. It's a good video. So see you all soon.